Hello, an artist asked me how to make a smooth deformation on model. So that's the previous pitch when you see that we did deformation on a model, but it's very random. It looks maybe interesting, but it's not controllable. However, in the grid shape, you can see that the deformation is really nice and smooth and uh, we can control it easily by the noise. Yeah. So we can do very nice slow deformation of the object if we see it. Okay, so I wanted to give a short tutorial of how to do it for the model object. So let's look at what happens on the, on the decomposition of the matrix that we send. So just previously what we did is we decompose the matrix into the polynomials x, y, z then we pack them back send them to gen and in gen we did the modulation and then forward to the JIT mesh so we need to look actually what happens to the x polynomial let's move back to the grid shape in this case and then we can do JIT uh, can have some information about the matrix okay let's see what's happened yeah the dimension is 100 to 100 if we go to the to the model it's different it's not two dimension matrix it's one dim one long vector okay but that's not the main problem because the matrix can just maybe modulated with the first line of the noise or the second line of the noise and repeatedly all over the vector but if we look more inside the values, let's do JIT, since we have many, we can do JIT print, okay? Before we do that, maybe we'll turn off this one. Oh. Let's render manually. It will be much more robust in this case and not move a lot. Yeah, so we are here. We put it here and then we render. Let's look at the window messages and then we can see how they ordered but by groups of the of the model so that how the standard Colada file works, the, the the file that you load and so on. So it's not ordering by it's not ordered by by X or by groups. But if we look at the at the um, grid shape. Well, let's take off the the weird blur that we have, and we can look at it, and you can see that it's ordered very well by X. Yeah, so you can see that two dimensions matrix one hundred and one hundred, and it's ordered in this direction. It's ordered in this direction. Therefore, if you modulate it with the noise element by element, that's fine. It, it looks totally fine. So the idea is to somehow get around it, the problem of disorder in the, in the model. So what I will do, I will use a function instead of, 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 uh, of independent matrix that I multiply with. And let's just forget about the gen. We do it later with gen. But let's do it with expression. I'm forgetting about the GGN. Take it off from here and directly put it here. So now we don't have any modulation, of course. So if I press it here, I get the normal shape. Now, between these two, I want to modulate it. Modulate the X, but since but since I, I assume that it's not order, I will use a function that takes as an input the values of x and modulate it by the values it see of x. I can take any function. For example, let's talk about the normal way to do that. It will be a will be sine of x. Sine, sine is it a wave. It's a, it's a normal wave function that we can use. And we can do it with 
like let's just write here call it x so here's the x just to remind you so this is the x vector and what happens what I want to do is to take each value of x and put it in a sine wave and the sine will be the deformation the deformation that we will see yeah so just people that may be not familiar with it I will explain in short what is sine but of course if someone know what is it it will we can pass this part but let's what is a sine wave so if we have uh, it's a bad way to <laughs> illustrate I guess is an LCD object but I'll use it anyway so let's say this is a x axis and his, this is the output of my function let's say this is zero here okay so the sine wave will look like something like that not bad <laughs> okay which here is one this is minus one and what happens is that he will take x and do a sine x and I will get the y result so according to it x to the x that he will get doesn't matter which order we we'll get it he will do that according to the x so I'll get a smooth deformation according to the x value it doesn't matter in which order they come so that's what I want to do and for that I'll just use expert which is very powerful object I really like it to do some jittering stuff or glitching it's really nice to play with that but for that I just use simple thing let's use mm, let's put the matrix in I'm putting the matrix in and I'm calling an exp I'm calling an expression that will be sign and the matrix in which is the inlet zero so that's how the syntax looks like you can look at the help of course and this one I plug back so now ah now if I modify that that will be a bit of a problem because sometimes the value is close to zero and the modification will be very very strong what I want is to add is to modulate the the normal value so let's say I add an, a modulation in first order so that the modulation is will be on top of of the value of x so it won't change all the function but let's look at as how it will how will it uh, supposed to be put it here okay so now you can see the modulation there's a few things we can we can we can play with that because now we see it's it happens not very frequent so the modulation happens a bit on in this side but not everywhere so what I wish to do is increase the frequency this wave moves so here you see this function which starts at zero let's say in x equals zero and each period happens um, at the values at exactly pi yeah? nice pi <laughs> and now if I want to make it more frequent what I need to do I want it to be not like that but something that will happen much more reasonable like that so instead of having a function of sine x I will have a function that will looks like n times pi x so I times the x over a value that can be whatever you want a constant that makes these changes in x much larger than they are and therefore the function will have large frequency that's how you change frequency of a sine wave of course 
So here I'll just can put that example three. Oops. And something happened. Okay. Now if the modulation is too strong, we can add an amplitude. The amplitude basically we change it by a constant here. Okay? So we can see instead of having this wave we'll have something smaller but with the same frequency. So let's put it here. And we again don't see much from the modulation, so we increase it a bit. And you start to see. Now of course you can make it as a parameters and then play with it smoothly. Yeah, or make Yeah, so then you have something that changing all over time. Smoothly changing. Now the nice thing that I put the sine function on top of my x values, but I take into uh, I don't care what is the order that the value of x is coming because it happens in a function. So you can use any function you want that takes into account an input as a x values, and then it doesn't matter what is the order of of the values that comes in, in the vector of x. So let's see what happens to the duck. Now that's too strong one. Let's try a very small amplitude. Yeah, so now we can see the duck. Now increasing a bit the amplitude. Yeah, you can still you can start seeing it deform deform into something else. Yeah. So that's what we actually wanted to get. Oh. That's too strong. And you see the modulation happens only in X, so we can do this to also Y. Let's say no, it's not a Y. As an example, Up. well, that's too strong. We have a nice deformation of the duck can of course increase different parameters and now you have spiky duck. Let's decrease a bit the amplitude or oh, a lot. Yeah. So you can still see the duck but it's deformed. Okay, so you can do it also with GGEN. So I, I did a, I did a patch that that shows now how to do that. So I'll show a bit of it now, and uh, and also it shared in here. So you can just download it and let and it's here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. I call it deformation three, but it's it also makes noise. So let's see what happens here. You can see it moving. I'll show how you move it. Uh, this is another feature of the sine wave, which called the phase that we're moving. 
we are moving um, but this is all what happens so before we continue you see the amplitude which was a comment um, so amplitude what we do is x you take the input doesn't change it but adding the modulation by a is a con it's a constant sine another constant which is uh, let's say uh, frequency times x which is the input that we have and we can add another value which would be the phase uh, and we called it let's say alpha okay so that's just the constant we added we add we add to to, s to change where the wave function start, when the sine wave start and that just give you, you can play with that by moving the phase all the time it makes it like a wavy because it's always move the starting point of the wave but it doesn't do much to the, it doesn't do at all to the frequency or the amplitude and the frequency is amount of deformation per per distance that you will get so let's see how the gigen, a gigen looks like inside so we can decompose the vectors the same as, as in the previous page and then we first do what inside the sign which is the first starting with the multiplication of the input vector x and the frequency so we have the pair which is the frequency I don't know what I call it ah, maybe because of peri period the periodic of the sine wave so we call it pair in this case we put in frequency and then you times it the, the x and then add it the phase and then put all inside sine wave and then the sine wave I'll, I'll, I'll time it I time it with uh, with uh, with uh, amplitude and then everything I added to the original vector which is this one so the, the original vector is just to give the modulation on top of the of the value that you have already and not changing totally the the values so the deformation is basically variation of of your of your values of your vector so that's all you can play with that you can do with that something and i would be glad to see your results Okay, that's all for now. Thank you.